most playoff rushing yards. This is a prop up at fanduel.com slash clay. You want to talk about respect? The Titans don't play in the opening round. Derrick Henry has not played since week eight. He's the favorite to finish with the most playoff rushing yards at six to one. I mean, that's probably the way it should be, knowing that he's a guy, unless Tennessee gets down, that you could pencil in for, what, you want to say 20 carries a night uh, for as long as the Titans are relevant in the playoffs. When you look at some of the other guys on the list, Leonard Fournette, well, how far do the Bucks really go? Daryl Williams for Kansas City, that's just respecting Kansas City having such short odds to come out of the AFC, not because of the workload that Williams is going to get that'll be anything close to Henry. And the same thing for a Joe Mixon and Aaron Jones. I'll go one step further because you know I'm a little bit bullish on the 49ers and say that Elijah Mitchell at 23-1 to might be a guy that I would kick the tires on. If the 49ers are going to make a deep run, it's going to be because their backfield is stout. And if they draw Green Bay in the second round in cold weather at Lambeau Field, it'll be a ground and pound type mentality. And the other player who is not going to be on here, which obviously would be astronomical odds, I'd even try and uh, convince the folks at FanDuel that you wanted to dabble a little bit with Debo Samuel. Uh, If he's able to play in four games and get 40 to 50 yards a pop, maybe he's a guy that could be there. But I have to give FanDuel credit. It's a fascinating market, and it's so much game theory that goes into it, not just trying to identify the best player, but looking to find the best player on the best team that's going to build a game plan around that individual that most likely can play four games if you're coming out of wild card weekend or at minimum three uh, should you be the Green Bay Packers or the Tennessee Titans. Are you going, we talked about this some last week, are you going Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady as MVP? Who's going to win? Aaron Rodgers. I think Aaron Rodgers cements his status. Unless you have a lot of journalists that have an ax to grind, I think what Rodgers accomplished on the football field should resonate more than anything else. And if we look at the way players comport themselves off the field in any capacity, I think you're pulling guys out of the Hall of Fame in the NHL, the NBA, the you know every major sport that's out there. Look at his on-field performance. I think Aaron Rodgers has done enough to warrant back-to-back MVPs. 